So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. Take a seat and join me for a game of Unfair by Simon. A game that's very aptly named because, well, this theme park can be quite unfair. But it'll start off all nice and fair and we're having a good time at the fair. But things will turn eventually. Playing with me today is Pixel, and Pixel has picked the robot deck, and I have picked the jungle deck. I've already done all the setup. If you want to learn how to do this, I recommend the Watch It Played video. Our game changer is going to be World Peace, so we can't play any cards that would affect the other players. In our starting hand, our showcases, we have the Mega Factory, which is a robot ride, and once per event step, you may choose an upgrade from the market and put it into your hand, then pay to build any number of upgrades from your hand immediately onto one attraction. Or the other super attraction option we have is the Jungle Queen. This is obviously a jungle one. And once per event step, you may choose to draw a park card or build an upgrade from your hand immediately for free. So quite similar super projects. What have we got in our hand? We have a junior vice president staff member. It's worth six points, only costs nine coins, and once per event step you may block an injunction event from affecting you. Now normally I would think, wow, things that stop you being attacked, brilliant. However, we have world peace, so not that useful, though the six points at the end is good. We have a guest services upgrade of restrooms. Well, always need toilets. <laughs> Comfortable seating, another upgrade, useful to have. Uh, we've got a food outlet attraction. You may use an attraction to build a jungle... Sorry, you may use an action to build a jungle theme on this attraction for free. And finally, we have a inclined loop, which can only be used on free rides and is a feature. So that's our starting hand. Let's take a look at the market before we kick things off. We have lockers and coat check, an upgrade. Uh, we've got Twister roller coaster, a thrill ride attraction, a cinema, which is a theatre attraction, an inclined loop, same as we have in our hand, and comfortable seating, same as we have in our hand, and a freak show, which is a side show attraction, which once per guest step, you gain one extra coin. And so our first player is going to be Pixel, and we move into the event draw, so Pixel draws her event, and then we get ours, which we have. Special offer, reveal the top card of the park deck. You may put it into your hand and stop or discard it, and reveal another up to a maximum of five cards revealed this way. So basically we can keep revealing cards till we choose to keep a park card. Um, or there's clothes and attraction in someone's park, which we can't do because we have the whole world peace thing going on. So, city event, we have our fun fair, a gourmet convention, okay. So, in the guest step, each park with at least one food outlet will score five extra stars. So food outlets would be very good. Um, we don't have any in the market, but we did have one in our hand. So it'll be worth getting that built with one of our actions. And then onto the play events, starting with Pixel, who's our first player. And she is gonna play merchandising, gaining her immediately five coins. And we could play our special offers, but I'm not sure that that's the right thing to do yet because we're not really sure what we need to go for because we don't have any blueprints yet. So I think we're just going to call it there and we move on to park one. And Pixel is going to kick things off with buying a card from the market to build it. So this is six for the Twister roller coaster. 
And our new card out, we have a robot beam. After you build this upgrade, you may immediately build an upgrade from your hand onto the same attraction for free. Okay, so for us, given that we have this gourmet convention, getting those five bonus stars would be nice, because that would be an extra five money. Um, so I think it makes sense for our first action to build the food outlet, which is going to cost us seven of our 20 money. And it's important to note that uh, the natural order, this one, actually allows us to build a jungle theme as an action for free. But uh, there's no jungle themes out in the market and we don't have one in hand. So we can't benefit from that ability yet anyway. So that's park one done. We're on to park two. And um, Pixel is going to build the robot theme. Which costs her uh, 12 coins. And she's going to add it on to her twister roller coaster here. Now... That allows her to now build an upgrade from her hand for free immediately onto this. And she is going to go with a superior quality upgrade. So she just tucks that under there. And the new card in the market, we have, ooh, a jungle theme. Okay, uh, which means after you build this upgrade, you may draw a park card. Interesting. Um, see, I, uh, I feel like I should take advantage of the food attractions ability to build that immediately. But we're then going to end up with too many cards in hand, I think. But I guess the worst that happens then is we have to discard some. I think being able to build something for free is too important. So we'll take the jungle theme, uh, which reveals... A cable car which is a leisure ride attraction and we get to draw a park card to add to our hand which is comfortable seating and then we move on to park free and pixel is going to pay five money to build the picnic spot um, which increases her park's guest capacity but it can't be upgraded so we currently have six cards in hand. This is going to be the last action before we're then going to have to discard cards, uh, which would mean getting rid of a card, which is going to be a shame. But I think at this stage, it's important for us to get some blueprints and see what we're actually aiming for. So we draw two and we get to pick one. So aiming the wild, the mandatory items, which if we don't complete are minus 10 points, but they are worth 18 points if we do are to have any thrill ride with any quality upgrade and a jungle theme icon. Well, that was a leisure ride. That was a robot thrill ride. So those wouldn't meet that. And then the other thing is for an extra 21 points. Wow. Um, all attractions have a guest services upgrade. Oh, well, that sounds pretty difficult to do, but not impossible, and it is a good number of points. What else have we got? We've got the a River Romance, which does involve a unique card, the Jungle Queen Super Attraction, which uh, we do actually have. But that's only worth plus seven points anyway. So, I mean, we, we can definitely do the plus seven, but... Let's have a look at this mandatory part. Any nature area. Well, we don't have any nature areas yet. Any food outlet with a quality upgrade. Well, we've got a food outlet, so what we would need to do is get a quality upgrade on it. And any theatre. So either of these seem plausible, um, seem doable. This one would be maximum 40 points. This one... 39. Well, let's go with the one that would give us one extra point. So we'll keep the river roma. So we need to find a nature area, a quality upgrade, or a theatre to be able to do that. Okay, so we don't have a park four action. No one's had a card to give them one. So we move on to the guest step. So Pixel has one, two, three, four, five. 
five stars in her park and no other modifiers so she gets five money we only have one two three but the funfair event means that because we have a food outlet we get plus five so we get eight money then in cleanup we're gonna have to discard a card and um, we've got two of these comfortable seatings so we don't definitely don't need those no so we'll discard one of those which gives us one two three four five cards and pixel doesn't need to discard any first player passes over to us and we get rid of the cards in the market here which is a shame because i think we needed some of these yeah the theater here Hopefully there'll be plenty of other theatres that come out. And our new cards. We have a amusement arcade, which after you build this attraction, you may immediately build an upgrade onto it from your hand for free, which is very nice. It does cost 13 to build though. And we've got larger capacity, which is a resource. Increase your park capacity by three. Air conditioning, which is a guest services upgrade. A vending machine, another guest services upgrade. I should have gone for that one with guest services upgrades. Uh, we've got a superior quality upgrade. And then we've got idol of clenched fist uh, which is a feature upgrade um, its effect isn't really gonna matter because it's if something was targeting you if the effect of an event would require you to discard a card that is already in your hand you may keep the card instead this does not apply to discards required to play an event and we go background to drawing event this time starting with us and we get festival permit park limits guest capacity plus 10 um, for one turn not really that useful uh, or structurally unsound inspection choose a competitor and close all the attractions which we can't do because world peace so this is kind of pointless for us right now but maybe that'll change and of course, Pixel gets one too. Then our city event, and we get the festive season. Draw a park card. You may keep it or exchange it with a card from the market up to the same build price. So we'll start with us as first player. So we get a first aid attendant with a build price of five, so it's kind of cheap. And it increases your park limits and gives you four points. Um, so I'm really not that interested in that. Um, what else is there that would be of interest for that cost? I guess maybe the air conditioning. Um, is probably, yeah, the air conditioning is probably the only thing. So we'll swap it for the air conditioning. So we get the air conditioning into our hand, and then Pixel drawing her card, and she's going to swap it with the vending machine, and the card is larger capacity. Then playing events, I'm going to start by using the special offers. So first we have the option of an information kiosk. After you build this upgrade, you may draw a park card or an event card. That's kind of useful, um, but I really want to get a nature park or theatre to be more sure on our blueprint that we've got. So I think I'm going to pass up on that one. We're going to get a technician staff member. Once per event step, you may reopen up to two attractions in your park. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that with, with the whole world piece. There's not a lot of closing of attractions going on. Uh, superior quality upgrade. Now, quality upgrade is another thing I need. 
and I am only going to be able to reveal one, oh no, two more cards to try and get something. But there is a superior quality upgrade there. So I think I'm just going to reveal another card. Android Greeter. Events cannot affect this staff member. Um, I guess it's free coins for free points and gives you a star. So that's not too bad. But I'm going to push my luck. Ugh. Jungle theme. Okay. So that's not really helped me much at all. So I get to keep a jungle theme. Then Pixel is going to play sponsorship deals. So in the guest step, she's going to gain one extra coin for each guest visiting her park. Then park one. And I do need a quality upgrade for my food outlet. So I think I will pick that up. Um... And I'll build it actually. So we're going to go 15 coins to build that. And the new card out is a vending machine. Okay, Pixel is going to take out one, two, three loans. So she's going to have minus 30 points at the end of the game. But that gives her 15 coins which she's then going to use to build a super attraction. So, Ropocalypse 2057. Three stars. It's a thrill ride. It's got robot theme on it. And once per event step, you may reveal the top card of Park Deck until you reveal an upgrade card you're allowed to build on this ride. You may build it immediately for free if possible, discard any unused cards. Stop if you empty the deck. And that's going to cost her 20 coins. And she's able to do this because she's got one, two, three, four, five stars in her park. So she has room for that. So for our part two action, I think we're going to draw blueprints again because we can't do anything to move towards our current blueprint. So the option we have is the checklist, which is an easy one for 12 points, um, which is have any attraction with a guest services upgrade, guest services upgrade, guest oh, so free guest services upgrade on any one attraction, um, which does seem relatively easy to do, um, but it's not a lot of points. And the other one is another easy one, which is Easy Tiger. Um, have any leisure ride with a quality upgrade. Well, that would require us to get a leisure ride. And then also as a bonus target, any attraction with any animal upgrade. I mean, they both seem easy. This one's worth the most points, so we'll go for that one. Pixel's then going to spend her last two money to build a vending machine on her super project. The new park card out, we get a restrooms guest services upgrade. And we move on to park three. And we need a theatre, a nature area, a leisure ride, or an animal upgrade. Well, I don't see any of those available and do we have any in hand? I'm fairly sure we don't. So we're going to spend five money to build air conditioning from our hand onto our food outlet here just so it takes us up to five stars now. Pixel is out of money so for her go she's going to draw an event card and she's going to discard this one here, which has renovation on it, which allows you to close down an attraction for a round and be able to build upgrades on it for half the price. Or vandalism, which we can't use because of the world peace. And it's on to the guest phase, and we might as well start with Pixel as we're already looking. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But her guests are gaining an extra coin, so that's 16 for Pixel. We then get one, two, three, four, five money. Then in cleanup, the first player marker moves to Pixel and she also discards her pinned event. 
and we clear the market and get six new cards so we've got a, a tiger expedition which is a leisure ride with a built-in animal upgrade hang on leisure ride animal upgrade okay so i really want that tiger experience uh what else have we got uh restrooms a photographer uh costs 10 worth three points once per guest step gain five extra coins for each open leisure ride in your park well at the moment neither of us has any leisure rides so that's not a big deal um, more comfortable seating, a leisure ride, so a monorail with built-in air conditioning. And it's worth three stars, so that's pretty good. And we've got a quality upgrade. And then on to drawing events, so Pixel draws hers. And we draw ours, and we get, ah, renovation again. Okay, so we saw this when Pixel discarded it. Not sure how useful that's going to be for us, honestly. Then, city event, and we get a bank error, gain five coins. So, we each gain five coins. Then, play events, starting with Pixel. And she's going to use her super attractions ability to build an upgrade. Let's see, we get Tiger Expedition, that's not an upgrade. Restrooms. Oh, it's a really cheap one. But, yep, she can build it, so she builds that for free. I'm then going to pass, because I don't have anything to play. Um, then Pixel is going to play the efficiency. So it's a pinned event. She gets to do up to four actions in total. And I'm still passing, so she's going to play Project Management. You may draw blueprint cards and choose one to keep. And she'll keep that one. And she's not going to discard anything. Then Park 1. And um, Pixel is going to pay... 17 coins to build a monorail. And the new card out is a jungle theme. I then really need that tiger expedition, so I'm going to pay these seven coins to build that. Which only leaves me with four money, which isn't a lot. But that now means that I've got the food outlet with the quality upgrade for that one. I still need a nature area, a theatre, and to build the jungle queen. And for this one, I've got a leisure ride. I still need a quality upgrade on it. But I do have an attraction with an animal upgrade. So I've done the second part. I just need a quality upgrade to do the top part of that one. But I'm getting there with them. And the new card out is an animatronic show. So this is a theatre. Ah, so I need a theatre cost seven though. Oh, I don't have that amount of money. You may use an action to build a robot theme on this attraction for free. Potentially useful. Okay, so we're on to park two. And Pixel is going to take the superior quality upgrade into her hand. And we get out a picnic spot. Oh, a nature area. I need a nature area. Ah, oh, okay. Um, Oh, oh, uh, so I need the theatre and I need the nature area, but I only have four money. I mean, I could take a loan, but then that's a minus a lot of points. Um, so I want to try and avoid doing that, really. So I think the sensible thing for me to do is to try and get some money somehow. I could redo with actually being able to use events. I keep drawing events that just don't help me. Um... I mean, if I look for change this action, next action, I can at least pick up the part picnic spot. So, or I could just pick these cards up and have them in my hand as a safety precaution. But then I'm wasting actions. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna look for loose change so I get two money because I've got two attractions and we move on to park three so pixels gonna pay three coins for restrooms which she's gonna build on her monorail I'll spend five coins to build the picnic spot because I need that for my uh, well one of my blueprints and the new card out is a fast food restaurant which can't have upgrades added but it does only cost two and we're then on to park four which only applies to pixel oh and we've actually got that should have gone there before my turn which wouldn't have affected my turn but <laughs> luckily and then new one out is a restrooms um, yeah, so park four, just for Pixel, what's she going to do with it? She's going to draw event cards and discard this one here, which is project management. That was the one that allowed her to take blueprint cards, so she's keeping that one. And it's then the guest phase. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we might as well discard this which is actually going to be the next phase in cleanup, but we'll do it now and we'll take this over as we go check out my guests. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight money. Still a long way off of buying all the things I want. And we move into cleanup. We've got too many cards in hand yet again. And I think, because we've got the jungle theme, Comfortable seating, restrooms, inclined loop, and the junior vice president. So we've kept pretty much most of our cards because we keep discarding and drawing to try and get things that are useful. So this renovation, I really don't think is very useful for us. So we're going to discard it and keep the park cards. And sadly, that means the theatre goes goodbye as it joins the discard pile. We get a robot theme superior quality upgrade information kiosk lockers and coat check air conditioning and oh the last card is another air conditioning and pixel needs to discard a card which is going to be a twister roller coaster